Hi, in this video, let's have a look at three different techniques to create a text stroke in CSS. So in my HTML file, all I need is some text. So I'll add an h1 tag. And within this tags, I'll add some text. I'll say stroke in all caps. And that's all we need for the HTML. Now let's add a few styles. For this example, I've chosen a Google font called Pacifico and I've added it to the body. Now the next thing we'll do is simply center the text vertically and horizontally. So I'll give the body a height of 100 VH. I'll set the display to flex. I'll say justify content to the center, align items to the center. Now also let's increase the size of our H1. I'll give it a font size of 6 rem. Now in order to create the stroke, we just need one single property and that is the text stroke property. So let's do that. This property requires the WebKit prefix. So we'll say hyphen WebKit hyphen text stroke. We want a one pixel stroke and the color of the stroke will be black. Now you obviously cannot see the stroke as the color of the stroke and the text is the same. So let's give the text a color of yellow. Also let's give the body the same background color. And the stroke can now be seen clearly. Let's finally increase the size of the stroke to around 3 pixel to make it look better. And this looks fine. Although this technique of creating a text stroke is quite easy, it is important to know that this is currently a non-standard feature, which means it won't work the same for every user. So it would be wise to look out for an alternative technique, one of which is to use the text shadow property. So let's have a look at that. I'm back in my index.html file and here I have the same old h1 tag with some text in it and that's all we require. Let's go to our CSS file. Here we already have some styles that we have used in our previous example. Now let's continue by changing the color of the text. So I'll change the color to white. Now let's use the text shadow property. We'll be adding multiple layers of text shadow. So let's do that. Text shadow. The horizontal offset will be negative 2 pixel. The vertical offset will also be negative 2 pixel. The blur will be 0 and the color will be black. Now let's copy this and we'll paste it at the bottom. Let's align this. In this case, the horizontal offset will be 2 pixel. The vertical offset will be negative 2 pixel, the blur will be 0 and the color remains the same. Now let's add two more layers of text shadow. In the third layer, the horizontal offset will be negative 2 pixel, the vertical offset will be 2 pixel and the rest remains the same. And finally, in the fourth layer, the horizontal offset will be 2 pixel and the vertical offset will also be 2 pixel and our text stroke is ready. Finally, let's change the color of the text to yellow. And that's how you can easily add a text stroke using the text shadow property. Now the third technique to create a text stroke is by using the SVG. So let's do that. So here in the HTML file, all I have is an SVG, which has a height of 200 pixel and a width of 350 pixel. Now within this SVG, I've added the text element, which is at a distance of 20 pixel on the X axis and 130 pixel on the Y axis. And here I've just added some text. And that is all we need for the HTML. Now let's go to our CSS file. Here I've already added some styles from the previous example. Now let's style our text. So we'll select the text element and we'll increase its font size to 8 rems. Next, we'll use the SVG fill property and we'll change the color to white. To create the stroke, we'll use the stroke property and the stroke will be a black colored stroke. 
Also, let's increase the stroke width to 3 pixel. Finally, just like we did in our previous examples, let's change the color of the text to yellow. And here we have our final result. So these were the three simple techniques you can use to create a text stroke in HTML and CSS. So hope you liked the video. I'll see you another one. Till then, have a nice day.